Thank you, thank you, thank you. My official title is Vice President of Business and Legal Affairs. What that does is, that's sort of two hats I have to wear. One hat part is the legal affairs, which means I have to be a lawyer, I have to be licensed to practice in the state of California. The other hat I wear is a business affairs hat, which is really the responsibility for negotiating the deals, figuring out how the money works, how you take a budget and utilize it to bring all your assets into whatever project you're working on. Negotiating itself is 100% an art. And you have to determine in your, when you're negotiating what is your style. But you have to know how you're comfortable. Because when you're comfortable in your negotiating style, then you can be effective. But if you're not sure how to act, an experienced negotiator is going to pick that up. The best possible training that you could ever have if you want to be a transactional lawyer or if you want to get into this sports business or any kind of business law side, litigate for a couple of years. What litigation is, it's a completely reactive environment. Somebody's done something to somebody else and you've got to sort it out. In the course of that litigation, particularly if you're doing business litigation, you're going to sort of get to a point where you go, holy God, had these people just had this provision, they would have been able to sort this out. Now you have context. So that when you become a transactional lawyer and you're drafting, you sort of see, you know, you're more cautious about what you need to put into contracts because you have the ability to see how people get screwed. There's no one way to solve a problem. And that problem could be, this person wants to get $10,000 more than I'm willing to pay. Or this league wants to retain certain rights that I have to get to make this deal work right. So how do you bridge that problem? My negotiating philosophy is, here are my cards. Here's what I got. Show me yours. Maybe we can find some place where, you know, we can create a straight out of all these cards. And sometimes you get a royal flush because you've worked together. Is negotiating adversary? Yeah. Does the connotation of adversary have to mean other <laughs> No, it doesn't. And that's what you have to keep in mind because ultimately everybody should walk away from a negotiation feeling okay. Sometimes you feel really good, but okay is good.